Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of this press, I stand on all the existing protocols. This is now midday. This midday's address is being organized by a very, very legal state and elders of the Committee of Indigenous Legations supporting the ambition of Mr. Badibo Rosebibo and Princess Uyefusi to be elected as the next governor and deputy governor of Lagos State. So the text of our press address, because this event is basically for the press, is as follows. If we could kindly switch off our phones so that the procedure is not, uh, we don't have any interference. Legal State of Fenifer again wishes to express its gratitude to the people of Lagos State for the victory accorded Mr. Peter B and Dr. Yusuf Dati at the presidential polls held on the 25th of February. And this was in spite of instances of intimidation and the orchestrated conspiracy to suppress and doctor the votes cast at the polling units for Labour Party on that occasion. This feat was made possible by the determination of young men and women, middle-aged and elderly voters, even some in low-density areas who are usually indifferent to elections. Afem Ferry is exceedingly joyful and happy regarding the mammoth turnout of the electorate all over Lagos State, respecting the presidential poll held on 25th of February 2023. This was in spite of the age-long lukewarmness, apathy regarding various previous national elections. The, the reawakening observed on Saturday 25th is very heartwarming and the vindication of the principal stance of Afeni Ferry regarding the requirements for equity, inclusiveness, fairness, and justice. You recall that these were the main consideration in Afeni Ferry supporting Victor B and Yusuf Dati for that election. Afeni Ferry is thankful to all and sundry and those who have shared this big vision, vision of equity, inclusiveness, and fairness, and the purpose of the need to enable a new Nigeria, and we are more particularly grateful to those who stood by the various polling units to ensure the validation of the people's will by casting their votes for His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi and all the Labour candidates in the Presidential and National Assembly elections on the 25th of February, 2023. Although INEC has publicly given us assurance of a better performance in the impending governorship polls on Saturday, 11th of March, having given such assurances in the past, its overt connivance to subvert the will of the people in the unconscionable conspiracy to ensure that the results of the votes were not offloaded at the polling units, which issue had been identified as the mischief the amended electoral act sought to cure. Their inability to ensure that the results were offloaded makes their assurances most unreliable makes the undertaking not a serious undertaking that one should accept as something that they will ensure that is, is done on that day. Voters must therefore insist on compliance with the law and the rules guiding 
the casting of polls at each polling unit on Saturday, 11th of March. Voters should ensure that the results at their polling unit is offloaded at the polling unit. <coughs> the security agencies themselves to have assured us of their determination to ensure that all parts of Lagos are well secured and that the threat to life and the suppression of voters witness on the 25th of February. In some instances, some will say many instances in their presence, they have assured us that that scepter will not reoccur. We enjoy local and international observers and the voters themselves to keep an eagle eye watch on the conduct of our security agencies <coughs> and capture wherever is possible infractions wherever they may occur so that we will be in a position to hold the security agencies accountable. The many unfortunate incidents of thuggery, physical assaults, occasioning harm, disenfranchise, or denial of the right to freely choose in a democratic environment witnessed during the elections of Saturday, the 25th of February, must be understood for what they are. It was a concerted effort intended to intimidate, frustrate, and discourage the people, particularly concerning the forthcoming governorship and state assembly elections scheduled for the 11th of March, 2023. Afenefe has noted the brazen desperation of the APC party in Lagos State. After all his efforts to create dissension, contrive misunderstanding, and thereby voice on the people a situation of mutual hate and destroy have failed. They tried that. Uh, social media was replete of, of posts encouraging hatred amongst the various ethnic groups in, in Lagos. They have also resorted to strong arm tactics by forcing people to do their will even after they have been defeated at the presidential polls. It is believed that with INEC's assurance of better performance and the people's ability to be the watchdog of their ability to keep to that assurance, that the polls on Saturday 11 of March and the procedure of Ololi results through the BVAs at the polling unit will be seamless and in real time. The manipulation is usually enabled after this process. It is believed that our own vigilance will ensure that the elections be free and fair. I find very hereby enjoins all men and women of goodwill to turn out on mass on Saturday, 11th of March, to vote for architect Badebo Rosbaibo, a scion of the illustrious Rosbaibo family of Lagos, whose family ancestry and pivotal contribution to the affairs of Lagos State dates back to five generations. Vadebo is sure to make a huge difference to the unfortunate present state of morass, brigandry, opportunism, impunity, and prebendary. He will, will restore the cherished values of Lagos encapsulated in the Omoluabi ethic of fellow feeling, dignity, and nobility of spirit. All candidates of Lagos Party in Lagos State constituencies are noted to be natural workmates of the Badebo governorship. They too deserve our attention and votes. The team that is afforded by this synergy will ensure a result-oriented administration and put an end to the many years of desultory governance in Lagos State. We employ Lagos residents to ignore provocative posts on social media. Many enabled by the urgent provocateur 
and aimed at finding the embers of disunity among peace-loving residents and intended to pitch your bars against Igbos. Igbos voted for Ashwaju Balatinimu in state southeast, the same way that many Yorubas elected to vote for Mr. Peter B in Lake and other states in southwest. The issue that we are confronting is not a contest between Igbos and Yorubas. It's a contest of ideas, it's a contest of those who think that we are at a stage where there should be a change in the policy. Finally, sitting here with us is the father of the governorship candidate, Mr. Rosvaiwa himself, is sitting here with us. Also with us is the, his, Her Excellency, Mrs. Kofo Bokna Kirele, who is representing, apart from on, on the one side being part of one of the leaders of Afeni Ferry, she's also representing all the, the Elders Council of Lagos State Indigents. She's here on behalf of all the Elders Council. So, so the false narrative of Lagos taking, being taken over by Igbos is a false narrative. Mr. Badibo Revival is a Yoruba man with his grand, great grandfather being one of the indigenous founders of New Lagos, immediately after colonialism. Lagos is not a no man's land. It is a Yoruba territory. It is a Yoruba territory. And we are sure, Lagosians, that the government of Mr. Rose Bible will be comprised of indigenous Lagosians, as well as providing and ensuring that all ethnic groups and foreigners resident in Lagos are afforded their basic rights to ensure that they all contribute to the continuing growth of the city Lagos, that is the fifth largest economy in Africa. We have been inundated by several posts of some royal fathers being complicit in engaging in partisan politics. We must advise our royal fathers that the function of royal fathers is to be the royal fathers to both the party in government and the opposition party. They are not expected to be partisan. But there are some posts that were circulated last week, some of it we forwarded to the police, of royal fathers intimidating those who were intending to vote and compelling them not to vote for Labour Party. I will advise them to retract from taking such an attitude because there will be consequences for royal fathers who show partisanship in their engagement in the policy. The truth of the matter is that many people are yearning for change and we are at the stage where all those who we are putting forward in the Labour Party are candidates that are representing a change that is even beyond their own person. So the issue is not their person, the issue is what they are standing for. And the young men and women, middle age, and all those who supported Mr. Pitobi in Lagos last week should turn out to support Mr. Gbadebo, Rose Bible, and the deputy, Princess Oyefusi, so that that momentum for change may start in Lagos. I thank you all for your time. And one will repeat the, the usual adage when people, when Yoruba people are yearning for a change, 
from the status quo. I think there's a common adage of auto, auto get, auto get. Thank you very much. Thank you.